Ah, we are so getting here. <laughs> and in August 2021, we walked 500 kilometers across Scotland to get married in one of the most magical places on earth. But first, let's go back to the beginning. So, we met in 2018 in a dance company while we working in Citrus, Spain and fell in love on the very first day. Literally, we saw each other and we were like... <laughs> almost, almost. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> yep, it was 100% love at first sight. We actually moved into a house together the first day we met and we shared a room. And yeah, that was pretty much it. For a year and a half we worked as dancers. But actually after only three months of meeting each other we said like when this contract comes to an end we are out of here and we decided to travel the world full time from that, that moment onwards. Huh? Mm -hmm. We travelled for one year around India, Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia and then when Covid hit we decided to go back home. Yeah we had the choice to either stay in India or come back to Scotland and we said let's go back home and that's when the whole social media journey began. You can find us on Instagram, TikTok and YouTube. YouTube is the best of course. We actually never thought of getting married. We were just like, oh, we're happy. We don't need those papers and stuff. So why would we get married? But then during COVID, I just got like a little bit of inspiration when I was like, I want to propose. I didn't know why. I just wanted to propose. So I started planning. I know why. Why? Because during COVID, our main jobs was being a model couple. That is For exactly. wedding photographers. That is why. That is why. We got married, married all over the world, well, all over Europe. Mainly. And yeah, I think just experiencing that was really beautiful. And I think I, I said I wanted that for us. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I fell in love with her. <laughs> My clumsiness. So around about the time that I was thinking about proposing, we were contacted by an incredible wedding photographer, Becky, based on the Isle of Skye. And she asked us, do you want a model for a workshop that I'm hosting on the Isle of Skye? And we were like, hell yeah. Yes. Sky is like my favorite place in the whole wide world. It was the first time I would see it. And I just kind of knew that that was going to be the time and place. So, I, privately, without Silke, I said to Becky, can I arrange something that Silke doesn't know about? You know, can I propose? And she was like, oh my God, yes, we would love that. So, you can come back. <laughs> so, behind Silke's back, I designed a ring, I got everything ready, I knew what I was going to do. And we had arranged to exchange gifts. Silka had bought me. What did you buy me? Uh, I don't remember. Eating? No. Uh, I, I don't remember. Something. I think a phone case. <laughs> Beautiful. And I had said that I was going to design Silka something for like a little necklace for a, the back of her necklace. And we were playing music, all cute and stuff. And then I went to put the guitar back and I slipped the ring into my pocket so I didn't know. I was just admiring the beautiful view. And then suddenly I hear Kieran behind me. <laughs> Not meant to tell that part. <laughs> I couldn't say anything. I was just like on one knee behind her like. <laughs> and she looked round and oh, it was just, it was the most magical moment. It couldn't have gone any better. We were just like so freaking happy. I knew I could get back to you Yeah, I just want to get back to you Of course, I said yes. <laughs> she did. <laughs> don't want to find No one but you in my arms If it's a test I told Kieran, I want to get married and I want to get married on the Kerrang where you proposed. But Silka also had another crazy idea. She said, Let's walk to our wedding. From Gervin <laughs> to Sky. I was like, I don't think that's possible. And I was like, Yes, it's possible. And I was like, Ah, oh, I'm not sure, but. Um, and I was like, Let's do it. And, and, and that was it, we were doing it. 
I mean, at least we told the photographers. So the day after we got engaged, we had a workshop photo shoot with 15 photographers. We told them our idea of walking from Gerben to Sky, and they're all like, yes, you can do it. And they also told us, we know the celebrant for you, the perfect celebrant, which was Gary. Yeah, the photographers told us that Gary was like the, the celebrant version of us, someone who's just passionate about love and life. And yeah, we got connected with him and spoke to him and, and sorted it all out that he was going to be our celebrant for our wedding. So we had a photographer, we had a celebrant, and we had our plan. All we had to do was get there. First, guys, I want some coffee. We've got a dirty butt, babe. And now that we're out in nature, we want to talk about today's sponsor, Outen. If you know us, then you know we love coffee and we also love nature. And if we can combine those two things and have our coffee out in nature, pun fully intended, then that makes our hearts truly happy. This little pocket barista is perfect for all those hikes and adventures we want to embark on as it is so easy to use. Okay, I'm just a little bit clumsy. You can either use coffee capsules or, like us, you can use ground coffee, making you feel like a real barista. We used cold water, so with the press of a button, it works its magic and heats up the water in around three minutes. Or, if you already have hot water, you can make over 200 coffees with one charge. Oh, and that coffee is so freaking rich and tasty. So, for all you coffee lovers, check out the link in description and use code SILKY for a cheeky little discount. Coffee, anyone? Whoop. Yep, we have straws because uh, coffee is bad for the teeth. Ah, oh, wow, it's so good. So, where were we? Uh, how to get ready for our wedding hike? We quickly decided, due to COVID restrictions and other reasons, that we were just going to have an immediate family, little mini wedding elopement on the Kerrang. We wanted it super simple, just barefoot on a mountain with the people that we love most. So there was not a lot of planning. We had only three months to plan our wedding, which for some people might sound crazy because we know people who spent years planning their wedding. Yep. And it cost so much money, so much time and so much stress. And we were like, in three months we want to get married, so let's do this. And. We did it. So we planned for three months the simple things that we had, just like where we were going to eat, what we were going to do, and most importantly, how we were going to get there. I don't want to skip over the part of the wedding rings because we didn't go for a normal, simple little band. We wanted something a little bit more special. Silke always had these crazy ideas and our idea with my wedding ring at least was to have the place where we got married actually on the ring. So around my ring is actually the landscape around where we got married, which is such a special thing to have. We got married right here. And for Silka's wedding ring, I had designed the engagement ring to have a little add-on for the wedding ring, which reminds Silka of the mountains, so mm -hmm. it's... Um, yeah. Very, very beautiful. I think we did well. I think so too. Um, anyway, now it's time for the walk. So the walk was gonna be one month long, 500 kilometers, and it would take us from Gerven, where Kieran is born, all the way to Sky, where we got engaged. And we planned to camp the whole way, so on our backs, we had backpacks with tent, sleeping bag, stove, and noodles for a whole month. Oh, and Snickers. Yeah, Snickers. And oats for breakfast. Oh yeah, we actually had a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. So we put a lot of planning into the walking route, because from Gerven until Glasgow, there's no real walking routes there and we plan to just walk along the, the beach, you know, along the, the seaside and follow the coastal route, which was a, a really stunning choice. For the first week all the way along the coast, we had to ask people for water because we couldn't drink the ocean water. Yeah, we and were. We just had to like ring people's doorbells just to be like, hey, could you give us some water? And most of the time they came out with some cake or something or to sweets. drink. It was so nice, you know, like so often people would just say, ah, do you want this? And actually a couple of times we had to say, oh yeah, we're vegetarian because they would have like meat sandwiches or something like that. But you know, we had cake and um, actually one time I had cake and the next day my toilet was really bad, remember? I yeah, oh, yeah. To the oh my God, that was really, really bad. So bad. Lots of people also ask us, did you bring your own wedding dress? And the answer is no. It was a plan to bring our own wedding clothes, but because our backpacks were already full of gear and cameras and everything, we just didn't have the space. And it also rained so much. Actually, for the first two weeks, we got rained on so, so much. 
And what we learned on our wedding hike was, once you're wet, you're wet. There's nothing you can do mm -mm -mm. about it. And actually, we got a call when we were in Glasgow from a hotel on the Isle of Skye saying that they would like to invite us to stay for a few nights. Now, we had not scheduled any stops for a few nights anywhere. We had just scheduled to go, go, go. And we said, how can we turn that down? They had a steam room, a sauna, all this beautiful we stuff. We really needed that. So, we made it our thing that we were going to get there with three nights to spare. And we walked our little butts off. We were walking like 10 to 12 hours a day sometime, waking up super early in the morning and getting our hike on just so that we could get there early to relax. But still enjoying our time, of course, because we did the West Highlands Way, which is one of the most beautiful parts of Scotland. It's just like one full week through the mountains, along lakes and... Lochs, love. We're in Scotland. Ah, yeah, lochs. Lochs. <laughs> <laughs> the only part about the West Highland Way is we were doing it in August and what comes out in August? Midges! <laughs> Our worst enemy on the hike. <laughs> if you don't know what midges are... Just imagine your worst nightmare and make it even worse. And then make it this size and just make it vicious as hell. They're crazy. They are. It's They're like a mosquito, but ten times smaller. They come in groups of thousands. They have little sharp... Um, yeah, midges don't have teeth. They have like a little serrated edge. So when they go in and come back out, it tears the skin, which means it itches for so much longer. And I remember one night we had set up by a river, big mistake, but we set up there. And as we went to get into our tent, we were just surrounded by midges and we had to like wrestle to get into our tent and close the door and get them all out. And we didn't want to kill them. So we were just like, whoosh, whoosh, and waking them out the door. Being oh. vegetarian is very hard, guys. Oh, it's so hard. You might be wondering, guys, what did you do for showers? Let's go show you. Ah. <laughs> guys, what do you do when you need to show it in Scotland? The river! Ah. Oh. It's a little bit cold. Not as cold as Loch Doom, though. No, last week we went to Loch Dune, which is a beautiful, beautiful loch here in Scotland. Ah, uh, yeah, it's freaking freezing. Ah, oh, guys, this is the life. It's something you can't, you can't miss when you come to Scotland. It's just getting in the nice cold water for a bit. Come on, love. Woo! Ah! Ah! No, 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 no! <laughs> get in! Okay, okay, I'm get in! Here in Scotland, we do have a shower, we do have a bath, so this is not necessary at all. Ah! <laughs> ah! Oh, oh, nice. Wow. So yes, this is what we did. I think on our one month hike, we only showered three Twice. times. Three times, yeah. Three good showers though, real good showers. Pedicure. <laughs> These little fishies. Oh. Oh. We also had our song. We are one step closer to our wedding day. Closer to our wedding day. We are one step closer to our wedding day. Closer to our wedding day. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> we sung that every single day. Good memory, baby. Thank you. You couldn't forget that. No. Nope. So, that right there is how we washed. How we ate was boiling water and noodles, Snickers. And how we pooped was in nature. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It was quite a simple life. A very simple life. I guess Kieran and I just love walking. There is nothing more than we need. And during our travels, we have walked everywhere. Yeah, we did Annapurna Circuit and we just walked a whole lot. Like whenever we get the opportunity to, to walk somewhere, we're like, let's walk. If you have any ideas, guys, of crazy walks that we can do, let us know in the comments because we're always up for an adventure. Let's walk. No! <laughs> These cows have probably never seen someone in a bikini. No. Let's dance. Playing all my time My thoughts make me tired Just running through my mind Wonder if there's peace I could find Instead of always being
Ozzy. And after 28 days on the road, we arrived on the Kerrang on the Isle of Skye. So we climbed up to the top, set up our tent and got ready to fall asleep. It was actually yeah. really nice. Our parents were there, our family was there. We had pizza. Um, oh, that pizza was so good. <laughs> it, was. it was just nice to have all our family there. It was the first time they would meet and... Um, yeah, the first time that Silke's mum, her dad, my parents all were together and we were all together in Silke's dad's rented caravan and it was so great, like such a great energy and such a, an amazing atmosphere. We went to sleep quite early and then the next morning I remember us waking up at 4 a.m. I was like, <laughs> lover, lover, the sunrise is beautiful. <laughs> and we got up, stuck our heads out of the tent and watched the sunrise over the Kerrang and ah, oh, one of the best sunrises, is it? It was, it's a very, very magical place and uh, yeah, I think our wedding was early in the morning, no? It's 11 o'clock, I think. Yeah, ah, something like this, okay, we had a lot of time. We didn't prepare so much. I just braided my hair. My mom was helping me in the tent. Uh, I also put on my wedding dress in the tent. I wasn't allowed to look, so we kept a little bit of tradition uh -huh. there. I went away, got my kilt on, which is actually my dad's kilt. Um, I love it so much. And when I turned around, I saw Silga there, and that was me in a flood of tears, just so set off by it. She was so beautiful. Aww. She still is. We decided to go for a Yumna celebration. Which means that it's not religious, you know. We are not super religious people and we thought it's beautiful just to focus on the love and our families and what's most important to us. And we had some traditional elements because if you know about Scottish rituals, then they have a hand fasting ceremony, which traditionally two tartans from two different clans would tie their tartans together and bind it in a, in a, a union of love. And as Soka doesn't have a tartan, our family made a beautiful little tartan of our own made from family heirlooms and just all the little personal touches. Yeah, so. I think it was a belt from my dad, a part of a wedding dress from my stepmom, a little piece of my pyjamas from when I was young. Uh, I had a bit of everything. It was a collaboration from the whole family on Soga's side and, and that was our hand fasting ceremony. And actually a little interesting thing is traditionally in Scotland on your one year wedding anniversary, you take the tartans and you dip them in water and then you take them out and when you take them out when the water dries they bind and it becomes so hard to untie them and that's like a tradition in Scotland. We haven't done that because the Silgas was leather and stuff so it wouldn't bind but we know that our love, we don't need that to bind, we, our love is strong enough. Mm. Uh. Oh, we are tartan. <laughs> we are tartan. <laughs> So after a beautiful wedding on August 30th, we got ourselves ready and on September 25th, we left on our 10 year honeymoon world trip. We've been for three years on the road. Unfortunately, we had to come back to um, renew our passports. Well, not unfortunately, it's fortunately. been amazing to see our parents, our family. And have a little bit of a rest. But um, yeah, we're soon gonna be back on the road for more incredible adventures. And if you wanna see those videos, you should check them out here. Ha ha ha!